coming, coming. Right, let's have a look. Um, they're upstairs, yep. so it's all the way up to the third floor. Chris has been called out by Barry from Wires Wildlife Rescue to help a stranded family. She doesn't like me being here, she's keeping a very close eye. A mother duck and her nine newly hatched ducklings are trapped on a third floor balcony. There's no food, water or protection from predators. Sooner or later someone's going to have to feed them and I don't know what to feed them so that I'd ring you guys. <laughs> oh, here we go. A bit of eggshell there, but look at this. A nest. Oh, amazing. So they've obviously hatched out here and not, popped up here yeah, and jumped down there. And still not hurt themselves. And still not hurt themselves. It's very common for ducks to decide to have their eggs by a swimming pool and then try to raise the ducklings in the swimming pool. But you very rarely see it three or fours above a swimming pool. She's got close, but not quite close enough. There's only one place for them to go, and that's three floors down and I don't think they're going to survive that fall. Without shade, the ducklings will quickly dehydrate and die. Thanks, Barry. So let's get it comfortable with the side of the, of the net. The family needs an urgent change of address. I'll come in from here and from above. OK, good. Good boy. Meanwhile, the Zenos family are preparing to bring in their crippled two-year-old Diesel to see Chris. See how long it takes him to sit? You should see him try to get out. Diesel's part of the family, so it's a case of when he's suffering, we suffer. To, to, to see him uncomfortable, uh, yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. At just seven months of age, the golden retriever slipped and fell and was taken to a vet for what should have been a routine knee operation. Diesel. The surgery was unsuccessful, and now Diesel struggles just to get around. It's really hard because he's still so young, and he does want to run and he does want to play, and he just can't. Well, he's like a little brother to me, and like I really love him, so we just want him to get better. It, it makes us sad as well. We rang every single vet in Bondi until I found Dr Chris Brown because Emmanuel and I swear by the show Bondi Vet. So we're hoping that he'll be able to help Diesel and us. It's got to hope her maternal instinct takes over and she doesn't want to get away from us. Chris is closing in on the mother duck and her nine ducklings trapped on a third story balcony. It's critical to catch mum first so she doesn't fly off and abandon her babies. Good one. After a struggle, Chris secures the mother. It's all right. It's all right. But she's not quite finished yet. She had a fair bit of fight. Obviously, the kids aren't really, you know, wearing her out just yet. Big hands can be very handy. <laughs> the anxious mother and ducklings are now off to the Bondi Clinic for a health check. But when Chris arrives at the clinic, a wounded cat is already waiting. This is Lucky. Yeah. And Lucky uh, is usually very outgoing and has lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're safer in there, aren't you? This is not like him. Usually he's the first one out of the cage. Five year old Lucky has been in a fight and come out second best. Owner Stephen is worried that after two days, Lucky is getting much worse. Uh -huh. So there's the bigger one there. Yeah. And then he's got a matching one here. But they're very tender to touch as well. So that kind of looked to me like it could have been a dog or another big cat. Oh, the Lucky has invented a new fighting move <laughs> involving a, a back kick of some description. Kung Fu, Kung Fu cat. Yeah. All the more likely scenario is that Lucky was running away at the yeah, time. I think that's probably Which, which that. doesn't paint, a, a, I guess, a bright picture in terms of Lucky's A, fighting ability or B, bravery. But when Chris shaves the affected area, he quickly discovers Lucky's wounds are much more serious than he expected. Hey, buddy. 
I can see why he's sore. Yeah. Now that we've shaved the area, we can see that it's not a dog bite, it looks like cat claws. I think a cat has actually come in from behind and gone whack, whack. <laughs> the thing about a cat getting into a fight is the wounds are often the least of your concerns. What is the biggest worry is actually the infection that follows it because those claws actually inject bacteria and those bacteria, once they're under the skin, breed prolifically. Essentially, Lucky's whole body is becoming toxic. Ah! Oh, there you go. See that? Oh, yeah. There's actually a pocket underneath there. I'll inject in there. At Bondi, Lucky's fighting a serious infection contracted after a street fight with another cat. It can be very serious. It can set up infections in the lungs or even the other organs. It needs to be treated right now. Saline is being used to flush the bacteria out of Lucky's wounds. Yeah, it's the price you pay for being Mr Tuffy. There is pus now dripping out of this one here, so... I'll give him a shot of antibiotics now yeah. and also an anti-inflammatory just to make him feel better and, and try to take out some of that, that swelling as well. It's pretty OK. Turns out Lucky's owner, Stephen, has also been in plenty of hospitals. 2002, I was diagnosed with a large and operable malignant brain tumour. Yeah. And he was kind of a gift what? to me from a breeder. Yeah. And she said, I'll give you this one. I said, I don't know what to call him because I'd just survived my radiotherapy, and that's why he's called Lucky. <laughs> wow. You're important, you know. Sure is. You big camera hog. <laughs> it's an amazing story, and when you understand the history of Stephen's brain tumour and how he came to have Lucky, you realise that this is a very tight bond. The two of them mean the world to each other, and for Lucky even to be slightly off worries Stephen. <laughs> Champion, you think, Lucky? By points decision? <laughs> I think there'd be some sort of inquiry if you were actually to be awarded, <laughs> awarded that fight, Lucky. Lucky should fully recover within a week. Hopefully there'll be no rematch with his nemesis. So you say right. thank you, Dr Chris. Thank you, Lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, good boy. <laughs> <laughs>
good boy. Get away, Andrew. Copy here, he says. I don't know him. No. Chris has referred the crippled two-year-old Diesel to Surgeon Andrew Marchewski at SASH. Oops. There you go. Come on. Andrea and Philip know this could be Diesel's last chance of ever walking properly again. We are at the very least going to have to open the joint up yep. and have a look what's going on inside. After looking at the x-rays of the damaged knee, Andrew isn't prepared to make too many promises about Diesel's future. For me to say to you he is not going to have any pain ever again, I can't say that. If we are unsuccessful getting him better than he is, I'm not sure that it's fair to keep going with him. And I, it's not something that his parents want to even think about. Andrea and Philip's son, Emmanuel, has refused to come to the hospital. The 11-year-old is not coping with the thought of his best friend going under the knife. And it was his birthday yesterday, and his birthday wish was for Diesel to be better. Yeah. So, hopefully... Yeah. But if we can't get him better than, than this, I don't think that's a quality of life for him that's, that's worth persevering with. You can see just how far away they are from, from flying. That's their wing. It's tiny. At the Bondi Clinic, Chris is giving the noisy ducklings one last examination. Chris rescued the nine newborns and their mother from their dangerous home on a high-rise balcony. They're so small, they are very vulnerable, and they're going to need to swim and, and run away from predators and going to have to keep up with mum. I think your legs are working OK, aren't they? Mum's quite confused. You can hear her just making a few little noises, almost talking to her babies, just saying, guys, you OK? I can hear you. You're stressed. Oh, oh hello. And each time she makes a noise, they make a louder one back. Just keep it down a notch. When Chris gets Mum out, she's not happy. What was I saying? Hey, hey, you're strong, eh? Hey? Just feeling it there, and she's actually in pretty good condition. The mother duck is ready to take her brood back to the wild, but there are no guarantees about their future. I am actually a little bit nervous about the release. Sure, they're fit, they're healthy, they're ready to go, but the harsh reality is I can't really control what happens out there in that pond. They are going to need some luck. Let's hope they've got it. Be brave, OK? Good boy. Diesel is ready for his major leg surgery. Come on. You'll have to come with him now. Yeah. I think he was starting to tremble there. He realised that we weren't going in the whole way. OK, we better go. He's not going to cooperate. No. Now that he's nervous, I'm nervous. It's hard to know exactly how bad that is, but it's certainly bad enough that we, there's got to be some damage to his cruise ship. Anyway, we'll know soon enough. We're just going to do an arthrotomy, which means open up the joint and have a look and see what's going on inside. And then once we've done that, uh, we'll then look at seeing what we can do to stabilise his joint. Mmm. It's not been a happy joint for a long time. A needle in a haystack. As surgery continues, Andrew makes a surprise discovery. This cruciate is actually intact. The cause of Diesel's problem is not the cruciate ligament as first thought, but a badly dislocated kneecap. Unfortunately for Diesel, I think this finding is actually worse for him. Uh, it's just uh, going to make it even harder to get that knee functional. Andrew now needs to drag the kneecap back into its original groove. After 17 months of deterioration, it's going to be a tough challenge. This yes, I'm cutting off the front portion of the shin bone, which is where the kneecap tendon attaches to the shin. And I've got to move that part of the bone around so it lines up better. Oh, this bone's so soft. Mm. Oh, butter. Unfortunately, there's a chance this won't work. Pretty spot. Beautiful. Fair bit of cover and so on. Yeah, so if they 
don't really like in the water, they can always come out through here. Chris and Barry from Wires are at a park to return the rescued ducks to the wild. What's good about this is that it's not too overpopulated with birds. There are no predators of theirs, so all the species here are pretty placid. They should welcome our new additions with open arms. Oh, that's their first ever time they've been in water and they're amazing swimmers. It's incredible, isn't it? So now it's the moment of truth as Chris anxiously watches the new residents settle in. Oh, a bit of a scuffle. Oh, jeez. They're actually attacking them. Hey. Good boy. Well, you're rearing the dough, aren't you? At Sash, Andrew is now optimistic about Diesel's recovery, despite his worries during the complex knee surgery. He's quite comfortable on it, and when you move it up and down and flex it up, it's not as crunchy as it was before the surgery, so oh, that's that's a good sign. Good boy. Oh, slow it down. But it will take at least six weeks rehabilitation before Andrew will know whether the operation has been a success. He's a bit of a nut and he's just going to do something silly when he gets home and try and charge up and down a set of stairs or... And he's, I just fear that he's going to blow this thing apart, so... Oh, he's scaring me silly. Go on, Diesel. How are you going, guys? Do you want to come home? Yeah. <laughs> but you've got to promise to be very good. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have your hands full, you really are. Yeah. Okay. Andrea is just going to have a heart in the mouth the whole time. They've just got to look after him so well. They've got to support his back end with a towel. I mean, it's just going to be a, uh, just a 24 hour effort for them. Look, truly, take him home, see how you go. If you're having a heart attack with him, yeah. bring him back. Okay. But we don't mind having him. Slowly, Diesel. Come on, Diesel. Slowly, mate. So take your time. It's OK. Come on, Diesel. Oh, jeez. They're actually attacking them. At the lake, Chris is facing his worst nightmare. The mother is under attack and her ducklings are left defenceless. Hey. There's obviously a massive territorial battle going on. The worry is that one of those bigger ducks will actually have a go at one of the ducklings, and one good peck could really seriously damage one of those ducklings or even kill it. Should they try to drown it? Give them some back, though. The mother duck is fighting for her family. Go, Mum. Adopted a bit of a defensive position for her. All of a sudden, the attack ends. Amazingly, several other adult ducks have stepped in to help protect the newcomers. For some reason, they're bonded with her instantly and, you know, they're really helping her out. It's good to see. It just shows you just how strong her maternal instincts is. She's willing to fight as strong as she possibly can just to protect them. For those ducklings, she's the best ally they could ever hope for. Diesel, who found it difficult just to walk a few weeks ago, is now able to run and play with his family after major knee surgery. Diesel! It's like a, we've got a different dog. It's like we handed him a dog and got another one back. He's just healthy, he's happy, he's not in any pain. He's got energy to play with the kids. He's, he's going swimming. That's a big fella. All the things we wanted to do with him before we couldn't, and now it's, it's, it's fantastic. Hi, Chris. How are you? This is... This is Diesel, the it's new and improved. It's the turbo diesel. Look at you. <laughs> Diesel's running style may not be perfect, but he finally has real quality of life. Come on. Come on. I don't know what we would have done if we didn't find Chris. Definitely when uh, Chris and Sash... It's, uh... Best call I made. <laughs> he's having fun. He's having a ball. Hi, I'm Dr Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. 
click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.